the world of stories is important. When I feel like the world is so harsh, wars, racial issue after racial issue, politics, the economy, having no friends, <laughs> it's not uncommon to escape into our favorite world, whether that's a book, TV or movie, role playing, LARPing and more. But when does that fantasy, that alternate world that you escape into start to portray someone or a group's reality? I get it. Duh, Jen. There are so many stories that'll be or was a person's life. And yeah, you're right. I'm not asking you to not immerse yourself or escape into your favorite story because it reflects reality. I'm all for stories reflecting reality because it's real life and representation can occur because diverse people and stories exist. What I don't like, however, is when stories use elements of reality for their sick fantasies. Stories give the audience a great deal of escape, but we can forget that your escapism is someone else's reality. So why would you write or read a book romanticizing Nazis or KKK members is beyond me. I think something that we as readers really need to like sit with for a moment, your fiction is somebody else's non-fiction. Your delusion is someone else's reality. Your means of escape, your means of escapism, this book that you're escaping into, might contain a nightmare that somebody else is trying to escape from. Honestly, there are some things in this world that do not need to be romanticized. Not everything is redeemable, not everything deserves forgiveness, not everything needs to be made into a romance book. I feel like people don't understand that even if lines like this were like something that you think that the author had to put in there to really add depth, to really show the internal struggle and character development that he had to go through, the depth of like his group's hate and how he overcame that. You see that as like, wow, he really, really loved because he had to overcome this. You see that as something that you cannot relate to. I see that as something that I have to deal with being scared of in the back of my mind every single fucking day. Simply for the way that I look. Simply for the way that I look and you will never be able to understand that. You were the 3,000 plus people who rated this 5 stars. 1,700 plus people who rated it 4 stars. 557 people who rated it 3 stars. You will never understand that. Go watch the full video, link in the description, but trigger warning as screenshots are shown from Tilly Cole's Darkness Embrace, the Hades Hangman novel. I watched this TikTok video by Sarah Red that months ago, which inspired this video that I originally abandoned. And they put into great perspective and better words than maybe I'm trying to convey how I feel about certain stories that I come across. I'm not saying you can't write historical fiction pieces taking place in or around World War II or including the KKK, but romanticizing groups or writing them as a hero or a person who deserves forgiveness that have committed atrocities that their victims are still facing till this day, it's all types of wrong. Wrong. Like, come on, who okayed this? From the author, publisher, fans, and those nominating or giving out awards, how could books like these slip by and gain popularity for some time before others in the public are aware and outrage occurs? And why is there such a justification such as, it's dark romance, don't read it if you don't like it, look at the trigger list, it says taboo, is a way for stories such as these to be accepted. The other side of your escapism is someone's reality or maybe more appropriately titled your escapism reflects reality that came to me is the argument that you immerse yourself into these stories and worlds to escape reality. That's why you don't want to see quote unquote woke ideologies such as black people, gay people, women and other representative elements because it's forced and doesn't make sense in fantasy or comics or manga or, or whatever despite the very same people you don't want to see that exist is reading the very same text as you wanting or seeing themselves in how can you say that black people in a fantasy text doesn't make sense when black people exist and you're reading a fantasy story elves trolls dragons aliens monsters make sense to you but not black vampires wizards hobbits etc if you think stories are becoming more woke, that representation is being shoved in and doesn't make sense despite these people actually existing and they aren't fiction, then go read a story where everyone isn't human. Oh, but wait, your escapism reflects reality because of political or governmental issues, lifestyles, food, culture, language, and more represented in the text based off of our reality. So these stories reflect some aspects of reality, some in major ways compared to others, meaning we may not be able to 100% escape from reality. That might sound depressing, especially if you want to immerse ourselves in a cozy world to escape our cruel one. But in those cases, you're 
Cozy World may just take elements of culture and language, and that's okay for you to still escape into. These stories don't need to always ensure people are represented. Do I wish it does? Yeah, but I'm not the author, and I don't have a say in how they create their stories. But don't act like marginalized people don't exist and subsequently can't be in your stories or anyone's stories for that matter. I mean, you may think diversity is woke and some agenda people are pushing, but centuries of stories being majority white wasn't an agenda where black or gay people just magically created in the last decade they were purposely excluded or erased to favor white characters stories for marketability for example i'm not saying black people never existed at all in tv or movies so it's a form of representation but many were bad because no thought or care was put into it it was offensive or racist but now that we're in an era where the industry is allowing for people of color lgbtqia plus stories to flourish and actually be told and worn more heck they don't even have to be the focus but they're included nonetheless in a positive way suddenly it's all pandering pushing an agenda erasing whiteness from the mainstream and automatically bad and unnecessary no regards that we are living in a time where positive representation can occur which is needed more and more especially when people can count positive representation on one hand and others can count the total number of representation good or bad they've received at all on one hand or none because it doesn't exist so why are people so against representation or diversity why do people write stories of people's trauma to satisfy theirs and others sick fantasy if you didn't write or read stories such as these to fantasize nazis or the kkk why put or accept the leading lady in a romantic position with these despicable people why glorify redeem sympathize accept and even love such vile characters apart from said groups without the knowledge or understanding that this is all types of wrong it's concerning when stories such as these are released for profit do i automatically think you're a disgusting malice human being for reading or creating these stories no but it's questioning concerning and disheartening i think you can write a romance story of some dangerous leader and a girl a said leader realizing their mistakes and taking accountability even going through an arc of leaving behind their previous life to be with the girl they love that story can have its own issues of romanticizing gang or mafia leaders that can be criticized but is done without making them based on real life groups who committed atrocities against minorities because who is that story for doesn't this just erase the history and victims for your romance story when you use such historical events as a backdrop doesn't loving such stories question what your stances may be on certain topics doesn't your desire of reading stories excluding marginalized topics or elements reveal your stances on representation diversity or those very real people you believe are being shoved into a universe because because it makes no sense or doesn't fit to you St stories can be amazing so don't be mad that your escapism reflects reality before you write it off and give it a chance but remember to be careful and have a heart with what you choose to write read and promote because even if it isn't your reality your escapism is someone's reality thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoy my little rant i hope it wasn't too confusing me jumping through like different topics and stuff this is just what came to my head when thinking about like escapism and to stories and worlds and i i, I could have found a better way to transition if y'all think it was confusing but i just had to say it as it is i just had to say it as i wrote it honestly i just <laughs> Anyways, if you want to have a discourse in the comments, then be my guest. Let's just keep it respectful. I've been your host, Jen. This has been Jen Star. Stay hopeful. Peace.